FTP Link decided to send over their new EAP610 version 2 for us to check out and kind of see what it's all about. And this thing is a lot smaller than the previous generation and promises to deliver the same uh, bandwidth as its um, earlier version. So of course it comes with the installation instructions and other uh, notices. The device itself, this thing is immediately tiny and I actually like the bag that it comes in. Nice, good touch there. This thing is tiny. Uh, also inside of the uh, packaging, content wise, we have a mounting plate. This is cool, it's all metal, which I uh, love to see. And it's got all sorts of options uh, for mounting to the uh, ceiling, wall, a junction box, single gang outlet box, or a, uh, European uh, single gang option box. And of course it comes with all the mounting hardware, which is great. Plenty of options in here uh, for wherever you want to mount it. And of course the power brick itself, uh, which is 12 volts and 1.5 amps. It's cool that they include that, but hopefully you won't be using that unless you absolutely have to. But it's nice to see that they did include it at the very least. So just how small is the EAP610? Well, let's compare it to uh, another family member, the EAP660 HD. So I don't quote me on this, uh, but I or kill me or flame me over this, but I think this 660 HD is about the same size as the previous 610. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it is. I have never had one in my hands. So yeah, just to give you an idea, um, it's ridiculously small. This is what they should have started with. And uh, let's go ahead and compare it to Ubiquiti's offering here too. So this is the uh, U6LR, so the Unify 6 long range. And as you can tell, it is also quite a bit smaller in diameter. Um, and they're about the same thickness almost. So yeah, what an improvement there. Like, wow, they really condensed the size of this thing. And it's still really heavy, almost as almost as heavy as a 660 HD. They may actually be about the same weight, uh, but I'm not sure. I could put these on a scale, but it's on the spec sheet if you really care to know what the weight is. So uh, yeah, this thing is small and tiny. Anyway, and if you don't know anything about it, uh, this is a um, AX1800, so that means that it's capable of doing 1,000 megabits, 1 1.2 megabits per second over 5G, which is really cool, uh, in theory anyway. And it has a one gigabit port. And of course, you know, power on the bottom here. So really sweet product, but we're not gonna get into all of the specifics. I really just wanna show you guys uh, what it looks like. And uh, I, I guess we can see how it performs too, but I mean, it's gonna do well. So <laughs> let's get some close up shots of this thing so we can get a much better idea of just how small it is compared to everything else. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so i can make a better me better believe in your mind because it's everything you can mold shape find What do you guys think we should crack these open and see uh, what's going on the inside between the two and see uh, not necessarily where they cut corners but how they like compacted everything let's start by opening oh i'm going to need a different screw set jeez let's start by opening the eap 6600 6600 wow the 60 660 hd and seeing what's on the inside uh anyway let's let's get them open
Okay, so I'm not going to fully take apart or tear down these things, uh, but just to give you an idea, this is the EAP660, and it is just filled with heat sinks. Um, I mean, that's a lot of heat sink, which is awesome. I mean, this thing is robust AF. So that's pretty neat. And now the EAP610 version 2. So these look like heat spreaders on either side with some uh, pads that um, actually use the shell as a heat sink. So this is all metal and I'm guessing this is what's helping dissipate a lot of that heat as opposed to having an entirely plastic shell on the outside. And these of course are the antenna. There's one for uh, 5G and one for 2G. Not sure which is which. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'd say that was were uh, surprisingly easy to tear down, although it did take me a minute to figure out that there was a hidden screw under the uh, EA, EAP660HD. Uh, that one I was a little shocked about, and unfortunately I ruined the sticker on it, which kind of sucks. I, didn't, I was really hesitant to do that. I didn't want to do that, but whatever, it's fine. But what's really cool about the EAP660 is that it's got four antennae for both the five gigahertz band and the two gigahertz band, which is really cool. So, you know, this thing is pretty hot. And the EAP610, of course, looks like it is super fancy, like a black PCB. I mean, this thing looks, this looks primo. I mean, this looks like really like nice equipment. Uh, not to say the EAP660, HD doesn't look nice. It does, but if you had to if I had to choose between like equipment and or I guess coloring or whatever, I don't know. Uh, I would definitely go with this one because it just looks so cool, and it smells. It smells amazing. Oh, that electronic smell. It smells like this came right off the factory too. All right, I'm gonna get these reassembled. Um, I'll probably do a much more advanced test with the EAP610. Um, in the future. So I've been kind of contemplating how I'm going to do uh, better wireless testing. Uh, and so that way I can give you guys more realistic results of just like around the house. Uh, so I think I've got a pretty good plan uh, devised. I just need to follow through with that. And well, yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to follow through with that. And so with all of that being said, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the very next one, next time, peace.